recession buffer stops. So the buffer stop level, sometimes called just in case, is basically the minimum the minimum stock a business intends to hold. Now there's diagrams for buffer stocks that you must learn. Please click the card up there to learn about that. But here we're gonna look at the pros and cons of buffer stocks. So the main pro of buffer stocks is that effectively, because you're holding a minimum stock, well, you're gonna manage your uncertainty. So if your suppliers fail to deliver what you need in terms of your raw materials or components, or there's unexpected demand for your product, if you're always holding a minimum level of stock, you can continue to produce. And if you can continue to produce your product, you can continue to make sales. That's the most important thing. Additionally, a secondary benefit to buffer stocks is that you can negotiate a better deal with your suppliers. The reason why is because if you're holding a minimum level of stock, it suggests that you're making larger volume of orders. And because your order size is bigger and possibly less frequent because they're bigger, then you should be getting purchases economies of scale because you can negotiate a better deal with your suppliers because you've become more important to them. And therefore your average cost per unit your cost per unit is brought down and that will increase your profit margin. Any more details on purchasing economies of scale, please click the card up there now. Now looking at the disadvantages, the cons to buffer stocks. Well, firstly, because you're holding a minimum level of stock, clearly there's going to be always storage costs. So your storage costs are likely to be higher. This is gonna mean that you're paying for that storage and your cash flow is going to be lower because you're gonna pay for it. Number two is a possible disadvantage of buffer stocks, and that's the idea of wastage. But it really depends on what the stock is that you're holding. What is that stock? You've really got to question that. Because if that stock is susceptible to going off, probably because it's some form of food stuff, maybe it's a restaurante or it's a food outlet, then you need to question what that stock is because it could become obsolete. Obsolete meaning it's just wasted. So really got to question that. I hope that helps with buffer stocks, and I'll see you next step.